Hello and welcome to J News. It's November 14th. I'm Tim. And I'm Aiden. And this is J, J News. News. Here are today's top stories. The uh, political unrest in Mexico has increased after the Capitol building of the state of Guerrero was burned by protesters over the apparent murder of 42, uh, 43 students by what seems like local uh, law officials and the, um, the cartel. November 1st marked the beginning of No Shave November when males across the country grow their beards to raise awareness of the fight against prostate cancer. Both Aiden and I are participating in No Shave November this year, and I personally think it's a very worthy cause. Prostate cancer is something that we need to fight, and I think by growing our facial hair and awareness for it, it's a good thing. I agree with that 100%. And now for a wonderful PSA. You fill up my senses like night in a forest. Like the mountains in springtime, like a walk in the rain, like a storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean. You fill up my senses, come fill me again. Let me give my life to you Let me drown in your laughter Let me die in your arms Let me lay down beside you Let me always be with you Come let me love Several weeks ago, one of our beloved teachers moved to California. On his last day here, I got the chance to have an interview with Mr. Yule and get a reflection on his time here. Here it is. Every time I see you in the world, you always step to my girl. So I'm here with Mr. Yule. Um, Mr. Yule, i got a couple questions for you. Okay. Um, so what are your plans after you move to California? Uh, I'm just going to go to the beach, hang out with my dog and my daughter. Maybe my wife a little too. So are you planning on teaching while you're out there? Um, eventually. Probably not this first six months or so, but next school year, I'll probably teach some more. If you could say, um, kind of give a lesson that you've learned, that you've really taken to heart during your time at St. Joe's, what would that be? I think all kids at St. Joe's, I've said this to a lot of you, all of you guys need to know that you're here to learn, not to get an A, and so you should, you should try and learn from your teachers and not try and get the A in the class. If you focus on learning the material, you will earn an A. Um, and so focus on, on learning for yourself more than um, just getting that letter grade that you want. Um, so do you have any final send-offs or statements to make to uh, St. Joe students as you head off to California? Yeah, I'll miss you guys. I'm not gonna cry. I gotta keep it kinda short and sweet, but it's been so much fun here. I'll never forget you guys, um, and I'll be back soon. And we'll hit up the mountains some more. Okay. Now that No Shave November is in full swing and the annual Beardathon has begun, this battle of the beards has many male teachers growing their beards in a race to collect cans for the hungry, hungry this season, this holiday season.
Um, so we're going to have an update with the rules coming up real soon. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the uh, demands of the, uh, well, not demands, but the requirements by the food, uh, food pantry we're going through. But once we get that, we'll be letting you guys know about all the rules and how you can help your favorite teacher win this year. These last two weeks have been very busy for the Jayhawks. Last Thursday, Girl Rising was shown in the Black Box Theater with great reception. Mr. Salvo prepared a package um, detailing the event. This past week, the Aquinas Institute at St. Joseph Catholic Schools hosted their first event of the year, a movie called Girl Rising. The Aquinas Institute is a social justice venue where we are able to bring the community together to talk about intellectual, ethical, and spiritual ideas. Girl Rising was a movie about the plight of young women around the globe. It centered on girls who lived in some underdeveloped countries such as Cambodia and Ethiopia, Haiti, and it focused on the importance of education and how it, educational opportunities could change the um, outcome of girls' lives and how those opportunities not only change the outcome of the girls' lives but for generations to come. Hey, good evening. Thank you so much for being here. I'd like to thank Joanna Wilton, president of St. Joseph's High School, and Patrick Lambert, the principal of St. Joseph's High School, and the board of the Aquinas Institute for Social Justice. And um, we were able to have an audience of about 250 people, uh, standing room only. So this was a great opportunity for St. Joseph to bring the community together. I feel as though I have power. Now there's nothing to stop. I feel I can do anything. And now we go to the weather. Well, today, it is a snowy, rainy day. We now have the weather for your six-day forecast. This week, we have a review of the fall sports season. It's been an amazing season with a lot of great wins and heart-pounding games. Here's the package to uh, help us see, uh, take a look back. And now we have a skit for the Jayhawk, and it's something completely different. Thanks for watching this week. We hope you have an excellent weekend. Seacrest out. out. Oh, my.